Okay, good morning everyone. We'll start. 25 of people have joined. Okay, no problem. Hope all of you have enjoyed the Diwali vacation. We start today with the fifth unit which we have started and introduced. Where we have seen uh, security, vulnerabilities and attacks where uh, sender and receiver is there and how the attackers is dropping is droppers try to stole the message try to uh, pretend that they are the original one and try to get the data which can be a sensitive which can be a password which can be a username or anything else so that they can breach the rules and they can stole your data and in 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 concern to that entire money or your bank accounts and all the stuff so the, that is what is the purpose or sometimes they will uh, like a recent new attack was there like entire pc will be hacked nothing will be visible in your uh, pc or laptop and uh, then they will send you the mail and they will ask uh, to pay in the bitcoins and once you pay in the bitcoins they can restore your data else you cannot open a file you cannot see and that is the recent uh, thing which has happened so this is uh, what the security issues we have seen the different terms and we started and to stop it we have to identify uh, who are the parties parties mean to say who's a sender and who's a receiver whether they know each other whether the trust is there and authentication is there so sometime if i'm sending to a particular receiver the message i have to ensure that he's the one who really i want to send the data and i have to authenticate and to do it we require some uh, you can say technical um, technical languages where we can represent those who are the parties who are communicating and we can authenticate them hope the screen is visible I'm sharing screen now. Is it visible? Yes, okay. sir. So the point is use cases and misuse cases. So use cases, so which will uh, help us to identify the different communicating parties or processes, agents, or we can say who are sending the data and who are receiving the data. And once we identify and then we can show how they communicate, then we can go and stop the activities and we can give them the guidelines like what you should do and what you should not do. So such diagrams we can draw and those are using UML language, using notations which are, we are representing as use case diagrams and misuse case diagram also we are going to see so there are uh, functional groups who are active and whose security is more uh, concerned about it and the main functional components fc's of security fg functional groups those are divided in uh, five parts those can be um, just a minute i'll admit harshada Okay. Okay, we have admitted them. 
So FC is functional components which we are learning under the functional group. So there are five basic uh, functional components. Identity management, authentication, authorization, key exchange and management, and trust and reputation. So to enable them, we require this use case diagrams, UML notations, so that we can analyze and we can provide this five functional components and secure it to entire functional groups. So use case, what it does, it enables the analysis of FCs, functional components of a security of functional groups. Also, they can set Oracle unified method, OUM framework, and we can observe that. IBM Rational Unified Process Framework is there, which also allows us to use these use cases and identify who are the communicators and how they communicate. Software development process models also give us the idea that uh, how many people are going to communicate with each other. People mean to say there will be a processes. So I am entering my username, I am entering my password, and there is a system. So this is what a communication will be there. The processes which does this, they will be said that these are the communicating parties. And also they are called by other name and that name is actors. Requirement analysis also gives us a clear idea of these use cases and they also use these use cases so we'll see what is a simple use case diagram which is uh, used for generating and communicating a key to the receiver so there will be a sender there will be a receiver so we identify that sender is an one actor receiver is another actor so there is a communication between these two right what is the communication so they are exchanging a key so sender uh, let me ask uh, is the screen visible to you yes sir okay shall i make it uh, bigger okay So this is a simple use case diagram for generating and communicating a key to the party. So we identify one is a sender and one is a receiver. So these are the two communicating parties. We call them in UML language actors. So these are the two actors who are supposed to communicate and this is what communication is going on. If I am a third party and if I identify I can target these two actors and the communication between them so that I can get this key, important key. Once I get key, I can do anything as a eavesdropper. That is my purpose. The use case will give you the idea. So here encryption key sender and here the receiver is there. That can be application, that can be a service. So sender generate a random number, generate a key based on it. And once key is generated, the sender send this key to the receiver. Now, when sender is, sender is sending the data to the receiver, he has to be identify who the receiver is, whether the receiver is same person same process to which is supposed to send the message and that indicates authentication and we are using encryption decryption algorithm for the same so once key is received receiver also has to do whether i am supposed to get the message from the sender key is the one original and that can be checked by again using this encryption and decryption process we can use number of uh, different processes. We already introduced hash, uh, message digest. Yes, key generated, 
the key send the receiver again will authenticate the sender and once confirmed he will use that key so in this diagram this is a huge case which will give us the clear idea now how i am saying that uh, sender is sending the key which is generated and receiver is received it based on this diagram so diagram gives me clear picture that who are the actors involved in the communication who are the parties involved in the communication which are the two processes which will be engaged for the communication exchange of messages communication i mean to say exchange of messages and then what exactly they are going to communicate so name figure name itself gives us the idea that they are going to generate and communicate a key apart from this they are doing nothing so no other communication will be allowed and if they are doing that is wrong so this is the process which we set that there will be an encryption key sender and there will be a receiver and receiver can be application or service encryption key sender will generate a number generate key and send this key once key is generated and receiver is receiving the key so this is the use case diagram which uh, strongly gives us what is going to happen what actions are defined who will take actions who are involved in the actions all these things clear picture will be defined by use cases right then which are different security issues which are required in iot so there will be a boot process protection so when the boot process is running initial programs there requires and if that is corrupted definitely system is not going to start sometime when you install uh, linux or ubuntu it shows this kind of error if the installation is not proper mbr master boot records you can say so boot process protection is very important because system is going to start from that boot process and if that is attacked that is corrupted definitely system is not going to start anymore so there you require the security issues in iot also because there are number of devices number of devices are going to start work then they are going to consume energy and they are going to preserve for the communication so sometime they go for sleep if no work is there they will sleep so that they can save the energy the sensor is attached which don't have any communication any so it will have to use his own energy and when there is no work he will preserve that energy so there will be this bit boot processes again and again they are booting starting uh, shut down start shut down so boot processes are required security secure software and firmware update as i said sometime there are versions which are coming with uh, updations they are also require the security stored data encryption and integrity protection so we, we have saved data and saved data also need protection from hackers from eavesdroppers from attackers right so the 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 these are the things you can say in iot where we require security issues and we can write use cases for them see can show who are communicating what actions they are going to do right then there is a platform integrity verification sometimes the devices use different different platforms integrity for integrity there can be chances that fake devices provide the platform communications and sends the commands use spoofing method so they require this security issues where we require again use cases so that we can identify how who are there and how they are going to take actions once we get that this definitely we can provide the security easily key generation very important key generation management of key and then exchange 
of this key. So entire key management process, starting with key generation, sending and receiving. So the, the, this also requires uh, security because they do the authentication, authorization, message encryption. So for authentication purpose also, we can use the keys. Authorization also, we can use the keys. For message encryption and decryption also, we are going to use key. So if we require different, different types of keys for different, different processes, maybe for authentication, authorization, and encryption or decryption, then we require this key generation separate part. There we also we require the security and we can use use cases so that we can provide better security if we identify who are the actors communicating. Then authentication of sender and receiver for secure message communication. Sometimes it this happens through network. So we require to provide the security to the network. Life cycle management needs specific life of all messages. So we require, we do have the time bound. That is what is called, we are saying life. If one message is created and that we are sending and it is exchanged. So we keep this for a particular life. If suppose there is a five minutes, we are sending this key and before five minutes, it is doesn't receive the receiver. So automatically it get, get expired, invalid. So we require this life cycle management also, where we require to provide a specific security. So all messages, keys and data, so either it should get invalid, or discarded or deleted. So all these are the issues, security issues, where, which are required use cases in IoT. So this is regarding use cases. We have seen one simple example and where they are used and different, uh, you can say security issues where we require the use cases. Use cases will give you what is going to happen. It means what you should do. So what encryption key sender should do and what receiver is going to do in this communication. That is what is use case will define. The next one is misuse case. Misuse case, it means what we should not do. Or if this is happening, what actions we, we should take. This information will be given by misuse case. So we require to identify the actors and collaborating actors which are involved in the communication. Then develop misuse case for each of them, for all the actors, collaborating actors. And what is the purpose? So purpose is creation of specifications for communicating the potential risk and rationale. So what is the purpose? Creation of misuse case is that which will specify when we communicate, what are the different threats? What are the different danger actions can happen? And we require to specify when communicating. That is the purpose of misuse case. So encryption key sender knows if I am sending the key, what eavesdroppers, attackers, hackers are going to do and what actions they can take, how they can stole my key. And as a sender, I will take care that this is not going to happen. And if misuse case is written, I easily I can understand. This is this is uh, what is the attack attacker is supposed to do and I can prevent it. I can provide more security initially. So misuse case allows you to take decisions so that device or applications or service or different platforms are there. All they can provide the security. All they can avoid the threats. So that is the misuse case benefit. Now issues for which misuse case are required. We have seen issues for uh, use case required in IoT. Now misuse case, security issues. non repetition So identity misuse case is non repetition So what happens? Sender is sending that message, third party. 
stole it and receiver third party shows that i am the original sender this so communication happens between them receiver feels that he is the original sender and here also the third party gives kind of you can see impression that i am the receiver on other end so original sender and receiver don't know so that is a non interpretation i feel i am communicating with the sender sender feel i am communicating with the receiver but there is a third party which does that so we have to identify this non interpretation crypto offloads the transfer of cryptographic keys and messages need to be protected from eavesdroppers or hackers very important and that's why we require miss use case so how they are going to hackers how they are going to hack eavesdroppers how they are going to eavesdrop we need information and once we do have this information by using this miss use case we can prevent them we can stop that and most important is like identification first or auth authentication of the senders and receivers and then if they are sending the keys and messages we need to protect them so these are some again more uh, security issues which require miss use case in iot eaves dropping fake server so server is sometime fake we feel server is giving us the say services okay communicate communicate and at the last we came to know that this is a fake server it's not a original server in all our messages data money everything will get lost fake device platforms so sometime there are the platforms we require to do that recently uh, two days before i wish to format my pen drive on windows by using command from it it is not getting formatted so i search on google number of devices number of tools are available we say okay we will do this they will give you the steps they will say download download and when we downloading they gives different 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 uh, you can say links and when we reach to final point e uh, download they will redirect and they will ask you the money and when we are searching we are typing there free tools to format pen drive they are saying free and at last when we really require they say do this send 2 dollars 5 dollars then you can download it and like this so these are the flick fic platforms available there also we require this miss use case how they can do so that we can stop if in second link it is not getting open the downloading page or uh, uh, main file page identify identify this is the fake platform do not go to visit those pages close it that's a simple funda flooding of tcp and svn flooding in the your network protocol at different layers unauthorized access to a data store there also we require the issue security issue miss use case audit and accountability need each transaction to be securely stored to later on auditing and fixing accountability else we will not trace it sometime we say na we pay some money uh, or online and sometime what happens we pay here from our account it get deleted and to whom we are paying they say we haven't received that money and we feel our from account those are gone withdrawn it will take some time again maybe two days one day 24 hours seven days we require to send request to our uh, service providing bank that this is this is what happened this is the transaction from my account money got deducted but it is not received to whom i am sending 
and this requires the logs and that's why we should store each and every transaction so that we can redo or undo right so there also you require the misuse cases which will give us how the attackers how the eavesdroppers how hackers are going to take actions and what are those different actions so that we can stop it so this is what we learned today regarding use cases and misuse cases what are the functional components of security of g where the use cases are required how we can use there so these are the things where we can use then we have seen how the actors how the communicating parties are there and what they are communicating and how we can draw the use case diagram simple diagram we have seen so that we can uh, understand easily so there is a sender there is a receiver and the sender is doing these uh, operations and this receiver is going to receive this as a end product from the sender so we can identify the processes and the people involved or the actions involved actors involved in that by using use case and in misuse case also we need to identify who are the actors what they are going to do and how they can get attacked so that we can stop them or we can make a provisional provisional so that this is not going to happen we have seen issues there are boot process protection secure software and firmware updates to encryption and integrity protection platform integrity verification key generation management and exchange where we require the authentication of sender and receiver secure communication through a network life cycle management where we require use cases or we can use use cases to provide the security or to identify the processes for me use case again we firstly we need to identify actors and collaborating actors then develop misuse case for each of them so that we can identify the potential risk then we can take the decisions right by using misuse cases then issues misuse case issues when we send keys messages crypto offloads that is what we say we require this then apps dropping fake server fake device platform flooding unauthorized access to data store audit and accountability all these processes also require misuse case in iot so this is regarding use case and misuse case we'll go to next point Can is visible. Next from next point from this uh, topic is security tomography and layer attack model. Tomography. Anybody knows? Anybody knows tomography? Have you heard this word before? Yes. Okay. Before we start, anybody have any doubt in use case and misuse case? Hope you got at least idea, at least a small picture in front of you that use case and misuse case, what they give, what are the different security issues? कौन-ते कौन-ते security issues आहे? काय problem ये हो सकता? IoT में ते कैसे हो सकता? Attack कैसे हो सकतो? कुटला कुटला level ला होतो? याचे आयडिया तरी आले असेल कदाचित आपण डेप्थ मध्ये बघत नाही फक्त इंट्रोड्यूस करतोय जसे इंट्रोडक्शन आहे की आयओटी मध्ये सेक्युरिटी कुठले कुठले आहेत कुठले इश्यूज आहेत ते सॉल्व करण्यासाठी काय आहे दॅट इज व्हॉट वी आर लर्निंग अंडर दिस युनिट मी याचे सोल्युशन्स परत तुम्ही बघणार आहात आयसीएस मध्ये देयर इज अ सेपरेट यू कॅन से सब्जेक्ट फॉर यू राईट 
तिथे हे सगळे अल्गोरिदम्स वापरून सगळ्या गोष्टी दिलेल्या आहेत किंवा करता येतात केले जाऊ शकतात आपण आज बँकिंग करतो मोबाईल बँकिंग करतो तिथे पण ह्या गोष्टी आलेल्या आहेत तिथे थ्रीट आहेत सिक्युरिटी इश्यूज आहेत आणि त्या प्रत्येक स्टेपला त्यांनी ते सिक्युरिटी प्रोव्हाइड केलेली आहे म्हणजे आज मी एस बी आयचं योनो आहे ऍप्लिकेशन मी इन्स्टॉल करू शकतो कॅनरा बँकचा आहे कॅन एस बी आयचं आणखी एक आहे एस बी आय रिवॉर्ड्स किंवा अजून भीम ॲप आहे तुमचं जी पे आहे गुगल पे या गुगल पे मध्ये पण आपण पैसे पाठवू शकतो कम्युनिकेशन आहे ते ट्रान्झॅक्शन करू शकतो मग ही तर ज्या ज्या गोष्टी आपण आता याच्या डिस्कस केल्या सेक्युरिटी इशूज तिथे सेक्युरिटी प्रोव्हाइड केलेली आहे म्हणजे त्याची काळजी घेणारी फंक्शन्स अवेलेबल आहेत प्रोसेसेस डिफाइंड केले आहेत आणि त्याच्या थ्रूच ते होत जीपे आहे तुमचा फोन पे आहे पेटीएम इज देअर नाव व्हॉट्सॲप इज लॉन्चिंग देअर व्हॉट्सॲप पे ॲप थ्रू विच यू कॅन डू द ट्रान्झॅक्शन्स यू कॅन सेंड मनी यू कॅन रिसिव्ह मनी मग इथे या सगळ्या गोष्टी आल्या सिक्युरिटी इश्यू झाले नेटवर्कचे आणि आय ओ टी असतील तर आय ओ टी मधले आपण आता आय ओ टीच्या रिलेटेड डिस्कस केले तिथे आपण सिक्युरिटी प्रोव्हाइड करतो सो दॅट इज वॉट वी हॅव लर्न अप टू दिस पॉइंट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज टोमोग्राफी इन लेअर अटॅक मॉडेल मग टोमोग्राफी म्हणजे काय समजलं की पुढचं सोपं आहे मग प्रत्येक लेअरला तुमच्या टी सी पी आय पी लेअर लेअर आहेत प्रत्येक लेअरला कुठल्या टाईपच्या अटॅक्स होऊ शकतात आणि त्यांना कसं स्टॉप करायचं कोण मेसेज एक्सचेंज करणार आहे कसं करणार आहे नेमकं काय करणार आहे हे आपल्याला माहिती आहे मिळते युज केसमध्ये आणि हे करत असताना दुसरे काय करू शकतात ती माहिती मिळते आपल्याला मिस युज केसमध्ये आणि ह्या दोन्ही असल्यामुळे काय होतं की आपण डेव्हलप करताना आपण प्रोग्रामिंग करताना आपण सिस्टीम ठरवताना या सगळ्या गोष्टींचा विचार करू शकतो सो दॅट देअर विल नॉट बी अस वलनरेबिलिटी वलनरेबिलिटी मीन्स वीकनेस जर वीकनेस नसेल तर वलनरेबिलिटी झिरो वलनरेबिलिटी झिरो मीन्स देअर आर झिरो पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ अटॅक अँड इफ युअर सिस्टीम इज वीक डेफिनेटली देर देर आर चान्सेस सो सिस्टीम इज वलनरेबल अँड इफ सिस्टीम इज वलनरेबल देर आर चान्सेस ऑफ अटॅक देर आर चान्सेस ऑफ एव्स ड्रॉपिंग देर आर चान्सेस ऑफ हॅकिंग सो दिस इज वॉट अप टू दिस पॉइंट वी हॅव लर्न सो एनी बडी हॅव एनी डाऊट ओके नेक्स्ट एनीबडी हॅव हर्ड टोमोग्राफी सर इन जनरल वर्ड इट इज अ इमेज इन प्रोसेसिंग लाईक फॉर एक्झाम्पल एम आर आय ओके ओके गुड एनीबडी एल्स Yes, anybody else? Okay. Tomography is, uh, as uh, she said, it, it is like image processing kind of a thing. I'll, I'll uh, go ahead of it. Image, image means either those will be figures like either using वन डायमेन्शनल टू डायमेन्शनल और थ्री डायमेन्शनल पिक्चर्स राइट सो टोमोग्राफी इज गिविंग यू द थ्री डायमेन्शनल पिक्चर ऑफ ऑल इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर एंड बेसिकली टोमोग्राफी इज यूज इन बायोलॉजिकल फील्ड वेर थ्री डायमेन्शनल पिक्चर ऑफ बॉडी ऑफ अ ह्यूमन इज गिवन ऑल द स्ट्रक्चर्स लाइक आवर बोन स्ट्रक्चर एंड एवरीथिंग इज रिप्रेजेंटेड यूजिंग थ्री डायमेन्शनल फिगर पिक्चर इमेज दैट इज वॉट and that for that purpose tomography is used which will give you each every section our uh, hand structure how the bone structure is there how the finger structure is there uh, uh, your shoulders your legs and all internal your ribs and everything you you were the head your neck so all uh, you can say the bone structure and not only simple but it is giving you three dimensional picture 
and that is what is a tomography is used i mean security tomography is used so that they can give this ata mala botancha aapla atla hadancha structure kasa kay he bagaycha asel tar te asa bagta yet nahi na samorun swatala mag tyacha abhyas kasa karnar mag tomography asa ek science ahe ki je tumhala ya botacha atle je hadancha structure kasa ahe kuthe joint ahet लेंथ कशी असते कसं असते हे सगळं थ्री डायमेन्शनल इमेज पिक्चर देतात आणि त्याच्यानुसार तुम्ही पूर्ण बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर करू शकता मग तुम्हाला समजू शकतो की कोणतं कुठं काय बोन्स आहे जॉईंट्स किती असतात एव्हरीथिंग प्रत्येक सेक्शन मला फक्त हाताचं बघायचं आहे दॅट इज अ सेक्शन इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अँड सेपरेट सेक्शन लेगचं बघायचं सेपरेट सेक्शन हेडचं बघायचं सेपरेट सेक्शन तसं टोमोग्राफी आपण युज करतो तो काय करतो आय ओ टीमध्ये आता सेक्युरिटीमध्ये टोमोग्राफी काय करतो तर तुम्हाला हे थ्री डायमेन्शनल त्याचे आयडिया देतो प्रत्येक सेक्शनची जेणेकरून तुम्हाला कळेल की हे काय आहे कसं होत आहे आणि सो दॅट यू कॅन ऑब्झर्व रेकॉर्ड आणि ह्यातल्या डिफरन्सेस जर तुम्हाला लक्षात आले मी म्हणतोय की काय आता एक सेंडर सेंड करतोय रिसिव्हर रिसिव्ह करतोय तर ह्या ह्या सेक्शनचं थ्री डायमेन्शनल पिक्चर इन द सेन्स की थ्री डायमेन्शनली असं सांगणार की ह्यात काय प्रोसेस होणार आहे एक्झॅक्टली कसं मेसेज एनक्रिप्ट होणार आहे तो एनक्रिप्ट झाल्यानंतर तो कसा ट्रॅव्हल होणार आहे तो रिसिव्ह कुठं होणार आहे कोणता राऊटर त्याला डायरेक्शन डायरेक्ट करणार आहे कोणता प्रोटोकॉल मधला कुठला लेअर त्याला हेल्प करणार आहे ऍप्लिकेशन लेअर कसा वर्क होणार आहे टी सी टी मधला तुमचा ट्रान्सपोर्ट लेअर कसा वर्क होणार आहे या सगळ्या गोष्टींचं डिटेल स्ट्रक्चर तुम्हाला हे टोमोग्राफी इन सेक्युरिटी प्रोव्हाइड करू शकतो आणि हे जर मला माहिती असेल तर आय कॅन आय कॅन draw better algorithms i can uh, develop better algorithms i can provide better security and so that there will not be a vulnerability so that is a tomography which is used in iot actually tomography is the word which is used in a biological field tomography represents your entire body structure in using three dimension picture three dimension figures okay so computing method of producing so tomography is a computing method of producing three dimensional picture of internal structures of an object so we are applying those tomography in here in iot in security issues so each object how it behaves what it does all these things we can produce using the three dimensional picture and this is called as a tomography in security what it does it gives you observations and recordings of differences in effects on passage of energy waves impinging on those structures so those structures who are using whatever actions they do whatever operations they do those will be recorded observed and will be differences all those things and will be represented by using this energy waves what it does again it identifies the network vulnerability apla network madhe kay weaknesses ahet he identify karu shakto apan using this computational security tomography mag kay kele jata yat to they use the complex uh, set of different networks and they give us the idea that how this can be attacked and if i know that vulnerability i can remove that vulnerability जे मला सांगू शकते की तुम्ही हा इथं तुम्ही वीक आहे मला कळालं की मी इथं वीक आहे देन वॉट आय विल डू आय विल प्रॅक्टिस अँड आय विल कम अप विथ गुड सोल्युशन अँड आय रिमूव्ह दॅट वीकनेस अँड दिस इज नीडेड फॉर डिझाईन ऑफ इफिशियंट अटॅक स्ट्रॅटेजी ऑडिबल वेट 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 is it now is it uh, yes sir, absolutely so okay. thank you sir uh, thank you kiran uh, so kiran has uh, shown me where the vulnerability is there weakness so my voice is not properly uh, you can say audible to you so i have taken care so i am holding my mic now properly hope it is audible now so this is how the tomography will help you inside your network if your network have a weaknesses vulnerabilities this tomography will give you the three dimensional picture of each and every structure each and every section of your network so that you can observe the vulnerability 
and if i know i can remove it and once i remove it, which will give you efficient network right so this is for the tomography is needed it needed to identify network vulnerabilities it needed to give you the computational security uh, solutions it is needed to design a efficient network so that all the attacks can be stopped right security tomography means finding attack vulnerable sections or subsections so for each small section as i said if uh, there is a school and it if it have a fence to school gates and all the you can say ki aapla shaela bint aste mothi chari bajune jene karun dusra kuni at yeu nahi aapla ite ahe आणि एक गेट आहे की जिथून फक्त लोक ए जा करू शकतात आणि मी दुसऱ्या पॉईंटला काय म्हणतो की कुठेतरी कोपऱ्यात दुसरीकडे चार ठिकाणी ती भिंत पडली आहे म्हणजे काय वीकनेस फक्त एकाच ठिकाणी नाही आय नीड एंटायर सिस्टीम टू बी स्ट्रॉंग इनफ टोमोग्राफी सेक्युरिटी टोमोग्राफी काय करतो तुम्हाला हे काय तुमचं जे काही नेटवर्क आहे नेटवर्क मध्ये कम्युनिकेट करणारे नोट्स आहेत कम्प्युटर्स असतील किंवा काय ते नेटवर्क कसं वर्क करतं कुठल्या कुठल्या रिक्वेस्ट कोण पाठवतं कुठल्या सर्व्हरला जातात सर्व्हरकडून येतात तिथे कोणते राऊटर्स आहेत किंवा अजून आपण काय वापरलंय इंटरनेट्स आहेत हे सगळे कसे काम करतात ह्या सगळ्यांचा एंटायर नेटवर्क मध्ये कुठल्या प्रत्येक भागाचा पिक्चर आपल्याला देत होतो पिक्चर म्हणजे माहिती इन्फॉर्मेशन सो दॅट वी कॅन आयडेंटिफाय सो सेक्युरिटी टोमोग्राफी गिव्ह यू यू कॅन फाइंड वेअर युअर सेक्शन वीकनेस कुठे आहे तुमच्या सेक्शन मध्ये किंवा कुठल्या पार्ट मध्ये राईट आता तिथं वीकनेस आहे म्हणजे तिथूनच अटॅक होऊ शकणार तुमची जर सगळी सिस्टीम जर स्ट्रॉंग असेल तर अटॅकर अगेन विल थिंक हाऊ ही कॅन एंटर अँड इफ नो बडी इज अलाविंग हिम टू एंटर ही कॅनॉट एंटर दॅट्स इट सिम्पल ही कॅनॉट एंटर अँड वॉट ही विल ड्रू इथून जातात नंतर ते सगळीकडे फिरवून बघणार सगळ्या चारी भिंतीला कुठं पडली आहे का कुठं आहे का होल आहे का एखादा छोट असं मला जात येते का राईट किंवा मग ते काहीतरी डॅमेज करण्यासाठी काय 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 प्रयत्न करणार डू यू नॉट ट्रोजन हॉर्स कन्सेप्ट एनिबडी हर्ट ट्रोजन हॉर्स आय जस्ट फिनिश दॅल गिव्ह द एक्झाम्पल सो सिक्युरिटी टोमोग्राफी विल फाइंड अटॅक वलनरेबल सेक्शन्स और सब सेक्शन्स जिथे वीकनेस आहेत ते सेक्शन सब सेक्शन्स फाइंड आउट करायचं काम टोमोग्राफी करतो ऑब्झर्वेशन्स फॉर बिहेव्हिंग बिहेव्हिअर्स ऑब्झर्वेशन्स फॉर बिहेव्हिअर्स युजिंग अ फायनाईट नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑर थ्रीड्स इन अ कॉम्प्लेक्स सेट ऑफ सब सिस्टीम मग कॉम्प्लेक्स सेट ऑफ सिस्टीममध्ये फायनाईट नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स आणि ज्या काही थ्रीड्स आहेत यांच्याकडून होणारे अटॅक कुठले पॉसिबल आहेत किती ऑब्जेक्ट्स आहेत काय करतात हे सगळ्यांचे त्या प्रत्येकच ऑब्झर्वेशन अँड बिहेवियर हे तुम्हाला देतो हा टोमोग्राफी जेगणे करून तुम्हाला कळतं मी आता सांगितलं की एन्क्रिप्शन की सेंडर म्हणजे त्या सेंडरने काय करायचं आहे त्यांनी एक जनरेट रॅन्डम नंबर करायचा आहे त्यांनी की जनरेट करायची आणि ती की काय करायची आहे रिसिव्हरला शेअर करायची आहे ह्याच्यापेक्षा वेगळं त्यांनी काय करायला नाही पाहिजे आणि त्याला आपण ऑब्झर्व करणार त्यांनी जर काही वेगळं करायला आला तो एकदा की पाठवतोय सेंटरला आणि तीच की परत हळूच गुपचूप दुसऱ्या पण सेंटरला ज्याला त्याला पाठवायला नको तिकडे पण पाठवतोय दॅट इज अ ऑब्झर्वेशन बिहेव्हिअर विच वी कॅन कॅप्चर युझिंग टोमोग्राफी दिस इज वॉट अलव विल स्टॉप हिअर आय जस्ट गिव्ह द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ ट्रोजन हॉर्स ट्रोजन हॉर्स मीन्स इट इज लाईक अ टॉय हॉर्स इज अ टॉय लाईक द काइंड ऑफ गिफ्ट यू कॅन से सो वी गिव्ह द गिफ्ट to whom to that person in his system i want to enter and nobody is allowing us mag kay gift da mag he trojan horse mhanje asa hota junya kalat ki don shatru hote mhanje ek do ek mekanche ani te ek mekanvar mhanje yuddha khel karayche pan tanna te jamat nahuta mhanje ekane kay kelo hota tyacha bhuti ashe strong security system uba kelti म्हणजे मोठा किल्ल्याला हे असतात ना असे बांधून ठेवलं होतं त्या किल्ल्यात आत जाताच येत नव्हतं शत्रूला शत्रूने काय केलं एक घोडा मोठा स्ट्रक्चर असलेला घोडा गिफ्ट दिला त्या राजाला कोणाकडून आलाय माहित नाही पण त्याला गिफ्ट मिळालं ते त्यांनी तो गिफ्ट त्याच्या 
गेटला नेऊन ठेवलं त्या गेट मधून दिसल्यानंतर त्यांनी तो घोडा नेऊन ठेवला मोठा लाकडी स्ट्रक्चर असलेला मोठाच्या मोठा त्या गेट मधून नेऊन त्यांनी गेट क्लोज करून टाकला त्यांना वाटलं छान गिफ्ट मिळालाय घोडा आहे आणि रात्र झाल्यानंतर त्या घोड्यातून सगळे सैनिक जे शत्रू होते ते बाहेर आले आणि त्यांनी ते जिंकलं त्या राजाला म्हणजे गिफ्टच्या स्वरूपात आले आणि त्यांची सिस्टीम ब्रेक करून गेले दिस इज लाईक ट्रोजन हॉस सो इफ युअर सिस्टीम इज अनब्रेकेबल द अटॅकर्स विल ट्राय ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रिक्स अँड दॅट इज वॉट इज इट इज अ अटॅक स्ट्रॅटेजीज अँड ह्या अटॅक स्ट्रॅटेजीज काही असू शकतात अटॅक स्ट्रॅटेजीज काय असू शकतात याचं पिक्चर म्हणजे तुमचे मिस युज केस आणि आपण एक्झॅक्टली काय करतोय प्रोसेस कशी होणार आहे त्याचे पिक्चर म्हणजे युज केस मग अटॅक स्ट्रॅटेजीज जर मला कळाल्या तर मी काय करणार युज केस मध्येच माझी सिस्टीम अशी प्रॉमिनेंट ठेवणार की अटॅकरला स्कोपच नाही आणि ऑब्झर्वेशन करणार त्याचा नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स खूप सारे मोठे जास्तीत जास्त ऑब्जेक्ट असतील ट्रीट्स असतील कदाचित त्याचा सिम्युलेशन काइंड ऑफ पिक्चर तयार करून जेणेकरून मला ते कळेल की त्याचा बिहेवियर काय असायला पाहिजे आणि तो काय करतोय जर चेंज दिसला चेंज काय होतोय ते मी ऑब्झर्व करणार आणि त्याच्यानुसार या टोमोग्राफी सिक्युरिटी टोमोग्राफीचा वापर करून ते फिक्स करणार दिस इज सिम्पल सो दिस इज ऑल दिक्युरिटी इश्यूज आर हँडल्ड इन आय ओ टी युझिंग युज केस युझिंग मिस युज केस अँड युझिंग टोमोग्राफी any doubt up to this there is a movie trojan horse uh, uh, no, no its name is troy t r o y it is a english movie if if uh, you do have a time and if it is available try to uh, see so you can understand this trojan horse concept there so in troy uh, as that um, you can say emp- uh, emperor is not attackable so what they do they send the gift a huge horse uh, wooden horse which is inside that horse these are the uh, you can say soldiers who are hidden they take horse assuming that this is the only structure gift is there and after some time they know that inside that horse these are the enemies who came and they kill and they win that enter So Troy is the best movie. If you possibly time is there, then you can watch just to understand the Trojan horse. I can say. So this is from my side uh, for today's lecture. If any doubts are there, you can. If any doubts are there, you can ask. If any anything uh, is not clear. Okay, last three minutes. So in chat, you can. type your roll numbers so that i can record your attendance and i request if you, you do have any problem any 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 problem any doubts you keep asking otherwise i feel that uh, everything whatever i am teaching is digestible jar kai weakness astil tar sangat chala samajla nasel tar sanga nahi tar mala asa vatel ki mi je kai sangto te barobar ch ahe so uh, type your roll numbers in the chat 30 people koni roll number lena sel tar roll number chat madhe leha type karun ekda as pathwa ekda as e kara just send it in chat box so that i can record your attendance ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच स्टे सेफ टेक केयर विश यू गुड डे यू कैन लीव द मीटिंग नो प्रॉब्लम इफ यू नॉट टाइप इन चैट योर रोल नंबर प्लीज टाइप इट एंड देन यू कैन लीव